In this video, you will learn Algebra Two-Step Equations Part 1. Welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you want to master 11 plus exam techniques to land in your dream grammar school, start right now by subscribing and clicking on the bell so you don't miss anything. So now let's have a look at two steps equations. And the example we have is 4x plus 5 equals 13. So the first thing we're going to do in this example, we have multiplication and we also have addition. To undo multiplication, we know that we have to do division. And to undo addition, we know that we have to do subtraction. So we know that we have to undo both multiplication and addition, and we know what we have to do to undo them. But the question is, in which order do we undo both of these? And to know that, let's have a look at the order of the operations. So now let's have a look at the order of the operations, and we're going to use a short form called GEMS. So it starts with G, E, and then M, and finally, S. So G stands for groups, E stands for exponents, M stands for multiplication and division, and finally the other S stands for subtraction and addition. So when you're following the order of the operations, you start with groups and then you end with subtraction and addition. But however, with algebra, when you're working your way backwards, you're undoing you go the other way around, starting from subtraction and addition to groups. So that's how you do it when you're undoing. So you do the other way around to how you do it when you're following the order of the operation. So now let's have a look at an example to understand this better. Example we have is 3x plus 7 equals 13. We have to work our way from subtraction and addition to groups. This means we have to undo the plus seven in the question first. To undo this plus seven, we have to do minus seven because three X plus seven minus seven will leave you with three X. A thing to remember here is that we need to do the same thing to both sides because we're subtracting one side by seven. We also have to subtract the other side by seven. So 13 minus seven will give you six. So now we have three X equals six. So the next thing we could do is to get rid of this 3 that we are multiplying to the x. To get rid of this 3, we obviously have to divide it by 3, because the 3 at the top and the 3 at the bottom will cancel each other out, which means we're left with x. So once again, we have to do the same thing to both sides, because the equation must be balanced. And for the equation to be balanced, we do the same things to both sides. So divide 6 by 3. 6 divided by 3 will give you 2. So this means our answer is x equals 2. So now let's have a look at two steps equations and let's have a look at this example. And in this example, we have x over 8 minus 5 equals 4. So once again, when we are undoing things in algebra, we work our way backwards. So starting from subtraction and addition to groups. This means we have to get rid of the minus 5 first. To get rid of this minus 5, we have to do plus 5, because x over 8 minus 5 plus 5 will leave you with just x over 8. A thing to remember here is that we need to do the same thing to both sides. Because we are adding 5 to one side, we also have to add 5 to the other side. So 4 plus 5 is going to be 9, which means we have x over 8 equals 9. Next thing we have to do is to get rid of this 8 or to undo the 8 we are dividing by. To undo this 8, we have to multiply by 8. And remember, when you do the same thing to both sides, so multiply the other side also by 8. So 8 times x over 8 equals 9 times 8 is what we have right now. So if you have a look at 8 times x over 8, the 8 at the top and the 8 at the bottom will cancel each other out which means we're left with just x. And then 9 times 8 will give you 72, which means we have an answer of x equals 72. So now let's start with a comparison between algebra and arithmetic. So let's start with arithmetic first. And the example we have is 2 times 10 plus 4. So when using gems and when solving this question and when solving the other arithmetic questions, 
you'll always work your way in the order of the operations. You follow the order of the operations, starting from G and ending with S, starting with groups and ending with subtraction and addition. And in this example, we have multiplication in 2 times 10 and addition in plus 4. And since multiplication is higher up than addition, we'll do 2 times 10 first, and 2 times 10 will give you 20. So now, the next thing we have to do is obviously the plus 4. Now, 20 plus 4 will give you an answer of 24. So this means our answer is 24 in arithmetic, and the thing to remember is that in arithmetic, you follow the order of the operation as it is. But in algebra, it's a little bit different. So now, let's have a look at an algebra question. And the example we have is 2x plus 4 equals 24. In algebra, because you're undoing the operations, you work your way in the opposite direction, starting with s and ending with g, starting with subtraction and addition and ending with groups. So in this example, we have multiplication in 2x and addition in plus 4. And because subtraction and addition is higher up, then multiplication, we do the plus 4 first. We start off by undoing the plus 4. To undo this plus 4, we have to do minus 4, because 2x plus 4 minus 4 will leave you with 2x. So now, the thing to remember here is that we need to do the same thing to both sides. If we're subtracting one side by 4, we also have to subtract the other side by 4. So now 24 minus 4 will give you 20. So right now we have 2x equals 20. Next thing we're going to do is to undo this 2 we're multiplying to this x. To undo this 2, we have to divide by 2. So now a thing to remember here is that we have to cancel the bottom number and the top number because we have a 2 at the top and a 2 at the bottom and they cancel each other out, which means we're left with an x. And obviously, we have to do the same things to both sides, which means we have to divide the other side also by 2. Now, 20 divided by 2 will give us 10. So that means our answer is x equals 10 for algebra. So as you guys could see, in arithmetic, you work your way from g to s. So you follow the order of the operation as it is. But in algebra, you work your way in the opposite direction. So starting from S and ending with G. Now to learn more on Level Plus Maps, click the video on the right. And to learn the previous topic, click the video on the left. So take your pick. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.